this video we'll be looking at reporting in Verify. Let's start with this overview page. At the top we have a section for live reports. The reports in the other sections below are all generated as PDF, CSV, Excel or IAF files, but this live report section is different in that these reports display data directly in the browser. Let's take a look at the profit and loss report which is often also referred to as the P&L report. This report gives us an overview of how much income we've earned and the expenses we've incurred over a specified period of time and what our net position was for that period. At the very top we have the date range filters which are completely open to any date period you'd like to review. With the filter set and your report loaded we can first see the relevant categories with totals for income as well as the cost of goods sold and also gross profit figure for the selected period. Next we have the expense categories we used in the time period and finally the net income. If you'd like you could click on any of these categories to go directly to the document list for that category and time period. If you'd like a CSV export of what you see on the screen simply click this export button. Next we'll take a look at the Outlook report. This report gives us a quarterly overview of the categories we spent money on and how we did against our monthly budgets. The filters here allow us to choose a specific quarter and any specific tags we may want to narrow the results down by and if you're an admin you can also limit by a specific team member or just load the report for the entire team. As we can see in this report for Q4 of 2018, in December we went over our budget in the COGS category but overall we're still under budget for all three months. Over on the left are trend lines for each category over the three months. This can be very useful for spotting anomalies in spend. Let's now move on to the job costing report. This report is incredibly useful if you're breaking down your time and materials expenditure by job cost codes. As with the other reports, we have some filter options at the top, including an open date range. We can also limit to a specific customer or project, choose whether to include documented income and expenses, and also timesheets if your team is subscribed to the timesheets product. Admins also have the option to limit the report to a specific team member or the entire team. With the report loaded, you'll see a breakdown for each job cost code with an itemized list of all the time entries as well as documents marked with that job cost code. Next to each item, there's a money in or money out amount as well as the percentage of money in or money out for that job cost code that this item represents. Each job cost code also has a summary row showing the money in and money out totals as well as the percentage of money in and money out of the respective grand total. And of course we have the grand totals at the very bottom. Let's go back now to the report overview. In this next section we have the documents and monthly activity reports. The monthly activity report is an automated report that is automatically generated by Verify within the first few days of each month and it contains a number of summary charts of the activity of each team member throughout the previous month, as well as a list of all the documents that were processed during that period. You will receive a notification email each time a new monthly activity report has been made available to you. If you'd like an export of all documents based on your custom filters, the documents report is the one you're after. First, select the date range and whether you'd like to apply it to the date on your documents, or the date that the documents were created in Verify. Next, choose whether you'd like to report in PDF, CSV or Excel format. And if you're connected to QuickBooks Desktop, you can also export the documents in IIF format to be imported into QuickBooks. Next, choose whether all documents will be presented together without any specific distinction, or if you'd prefer them to be separated into groups based on your selection here. If you choose to include images, you will be able to download a zip file containing the original images and or PDF documents that will be included in the report. Here in the advanced options, we have a few more filters to really fine tune things. You have the option to limit the report to specific team members and categories and tags and payment types and also customers and projects. Next, choose whether you want to limit the documents to only those that are reimbursable or those that are billable and whether archived documents should be included. And finally, you can customize the columns you'd like to appear in your final report. 
CSV and Excel format reports can include as few or as many columns as you wish, but PDF formats are limited to at most 8 columns. If you'd like to use a custom name for your report, update it here and then click the Create Report button. At this point the report will be generated in the background and should be ready typically in 1 or 2 minutes. Hit the View button to view your document reports. Here we have an example of a PDF report that is grouped by category. We have an overall summary on the first page, then we see all the relevant documents listed under each category, along with the tax and spend totals for each. One thing to note here is that if you have documents with line items specified, each of those line items will appear in this report rather than the overall document. At the bottom we have the original document images, first in a smaller version, and then the larger version. If you enable the Include Images option when creating your report, you will see this zip file icon next to your report. Click this icon to download the zip file. If your team is subscribed to the Timesheets or Logbook products, you will also have access to the corresponding reports here. These last three reports work in a very similar way to the Documents report. Simply click the appropriate Create button, choose your filters, click the Create Report button and then download the report once it's ready. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, please email us at support at verify.com. <laughs>